Do you want to add some yellow too? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Let's add some yellow and see what kind of a rainbow flower we can So, we have this Crayola paper flower science kit that we can make colorful flowers. Do you want to explore it? Yes! Okay, let's open it. The kit contains a watering can, a crayon, some markers, some wicks, and six flowering flower pot, some colors, flowers, and paper petals. Yeah. There are different kind of shapes in the petals. So let's try and remove them. Oh, yeah. Here's one kind of a petal. Krishna, there are four kind of petals that we're going to put together to make our flower. Okay. We'll put the largest one below and the smallest one on the top. Let's get a flower pot. Okay. And let's get a base. This, this is the flower base. Okay, so now add the biggest one at the bottom. Here. Like that. Okay, and then which is the next one? Yes. And then this one. Okay. The smallest one on the top. top. Okay, now let us have the pick to put on top. Then let's take a one of the wicks. Let's put them at the base, okay? And let's put the wick below. Let's push it here. Now that our flower is ready, let's put it into the flowering pot. What color do you want? I want to have color red. Let's add 20 drops of the coloring ink inside. Oh yes. Okay, let's add 20 drops. One, two. Now, let's add some water through the hole at the base. That's good. Okay. Look what's happening. What? Can you see how the color is going up the wick and it's coming up? I can see the flower. Oh, let's see what happens. We have to wait. Give it a little bit time. Or a little more or a little more. Okay, we wait. <sighs> Look, it's coming up. You see? You see how the color is rising up? I can see some color. Yes. See how beautifully the color is rising up? See, yeah. Now we have to wait patiently until all the water seeps up to color the petals. Do you want to make some more flowers by then? Yes! Okay, the next ones we try, let us make it more colorful. Let's do a combination of colors for this flower. What color do you want? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, let's add some yellow to the base. Yes. Yeah. First, just add a little bit in the middle and then some at the edges of the petals. Yeah. Here, now. little bit here. There you go. And here. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's wait. Okay, let's wait. 
It's green. It's green. Yeah, blue and yellow mixed to make green. What does blue, blue, yellow, and pink make? We can try. Let's make a combination of colors for this beautiful flower. What color would you like? A blue. A blue. Okay, so let's add some blue to the base. What color do you want to use for the tips? Red. Red. Okay, so just add a touch of red to the edges of the petal. Okay. Each one, just a drop. Just a drop. So that's at the end. Now we'll wait for the blue to rise up and color the rest of the petals. Do you want to add some yellow too? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Let's add some yellow and see what kind of a rainbow flower we can make. One day later, look at all the beautiful flowers that we have made. Do you know how this happened? Yes. Tell me. From capillary action. Yes, it's due to capillary action. Capillary action is the process by which liquid rises up through a narrow tube or something porous like the wick, often against gravity. You can see how the water has colored all the beautiful flowers and the different colors we added made so many patterns. Which is your favorite? I like the red, the green and the this one and this one and this one. So you like everything? No, but not this one because okay. it isn't finished. Okay. I like five Okay. So every petal. Do you want to make some more flowers? Yes. Okay, let's make some more. Because we have a lot of wicks and a lot of bees. Okay. Yeah.